up everyone welcome back to another vlog and today's vlog is going to be important for all those people who have been asking me about postgraduate education in medicine in australia and i'll break it down into several sections i'll make this vlog in a slightly different way a little bit outdoor and interactive so today is a beautiful day out here in western australia nice and sunny uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a junior medical officer, IMG, working in Australia. And I've been here for the last uh, several years, but last couple of years, I've been working predominantly as a resident medical officer and trying to make a transition into specialist training. And I get about uh, half a dozen emails per week from international doctors who want to move to Australia and want to start their journey over here uh, doing the postgraduate uh, graduate training, so what they call as PG training. And they ask me questions, hey, can I come to Australia, can I do PG training? And the answer to that, all of those is yes, you can definitely come to Australia, you can definitely do PG training. But what I'm going to do today in this vlog is explain you what are the requirements of PG training and how you can get into the system and what exactly you need to do in order to get into the PG training. So let's start with step number one. You cannot directly do clinical PG training. That means working in a hospital and doing PG training unless you have a general registration in Australia. So general registration is a must to get into any sort of training in Australia. And to get general registration, you need to do 12 months of different rotations within the hospital setup and pass your AMC 1 or AMC 2 exam. And generally it's they say 12 months, but to pass these exams, it, it takes you about two years anyway. So if you haven't done your clinical exam and during the first year, most of the times you are unable to get all your required rotations. So as per APRA terms, you need to have rotations in medicine, surgery and ED. And most times in your first job, you either get only rotations in ED or you get only rotations in medicine. And to get those surgical rotations is slightly tough. So most people end up doing a second year in the hospital to get those rotations. So on average, to get your general registration after you come to Australia, it will take you about two years. So once, you have, once you've got those two years of hospital training and your general registration sorted out, then you can apply for specialty colleges. Now, uh, some colleges will require to, you to have uh, permanent residency in Australia, whereas other uh, colleges are quite free and they will allow you to apply. So I know for College of Surgery and uh, some other specialty training, such as sports medicine, you need to have permanent residency of Australia, otherwise you can't get in. And generally that takes about another year after your general registration. So in all up, it can take you up to three years to get into a specialty training. However, some other training programs only require general registration. Um, and the easiest programs to get into are medicine and ED and psychiatry. So these are the three most easiest programs to get into. And obviously general practice is another program, but most doctors coming from uh, subcontinent want to get into some form of training. Now, the two main training pathways in Australia are internal medicine training or what we call the physician training and then the surgical training. So I'll focus on these two but then I can touch upon some other ones as well and I'll put a link down in the description about those pathways. So the first step to get into a physician training pathway, and let me just explain to you, a physician training is pathway is becoming an internal medicine or a medical medicine specialist. And then you can sub-specialize in things like cardiology, respiratory medicine, etc. Uh, and the program itself is a six year program. So you have to do three years of basic training, what, what they call it as basic physician training. And the next three years is in a specialization of your choice. So for example, cardiology, respiratory, palliative care, whatever you can think of, all those non-invasive uh, internal medicine type of specialities. Uh, so that's about that program. To get into that program, you obviously will require general registration. And to get general registration, you obviously have to work at least a couple of years in the hospital system, unless you're very lucky. That's the amount of time that you will need to get into the system. 
so all up if you can get into the program that's a six year program and to get into the program it's not too difficult i think once you have a couple of years of experience you've shown interest there are heaps of vacancies there's no bias or anything you should be able to straightforward get into the program um so that's number one so that uh, to all up to become a physician if you do everything right from the day you land in australia it can take you two years to get into the program and that's another six years if you straight pass the exam so in eight years time you can become a specialist coming into spe surgical specialities now surgical specialities have uh, are difficult to get into they there are fewer seats a lot of demand and you need to show a lot of credentials to get in so even after you get general registration the recommended thing for a surgical or orthopedic surgery or neurosurgery postgraduate training they want you to at least work for at least one to two years after your general uh, general registration as a registrar in that field to get into the training program so for example if you have got your general registration and you want to apply for uh, orthopedic surgery position then it's an unsaid rule that you want to have at least one to two years of experience after you get your general registration to apply for that program or to get into that program. Um, the way most people do it is they take up something which is called an unaccredited trainee. So it's a trainee position, but it's unaccredited, which basically means it does not count towards training or a service registrar position. These, those are pretty much the same, similar sort of things. So registrar position, which is not like a training position, but you take that position for a year or two, show your credentials, develop some referees, references, and then you possibly can apply for that program. So to get into surgical program, it will require about three to four years of Australian experience. And then you're in. So I hope I've explained uh, both the main training pathways to you uh, so you don't have any issues. Some other programs such as psychiatry are very easy. They don't require anything like that. So once you have general registration, just apply for the program and you're in. ED is similar. As soon as you get general registration, you apply and get in. Uh, for surgery, I forgot to tell you that you also need to do uh, an entrance exam. And for some of the pathways, you need to do some entrance exam. But they, they are pretty easy. That you should be able to crack those on the first or the second go and get into the system. So I hope you have a, developed a little bit of an understanding of the system based on what I have explained to you in terms of the training programs. And then uh, if you have more questions, feel free, free to flick me an email or, or uh, co comment below and I'd be able to explain you. But just to reiterate the fact you cannot directly get into a clinical postgraduate training program in Australia without getting general registration so that's impossible yes the only pg sort of things you can do over here are non-clinical such as public health or you've done a non-clinical sort of a university degree in say master of surgery or or master of anatomy or something like that uh, but those are non-clinical so you can't work in a hospital with those degrees the postgraduate training in australia are fellowship trainings and generally they are between four to six years, depending on the speciality program you're in. You can always go to their websites of the speciality training programs. I'll link a couple down in the description for you. So that, that would be the main thing. Now, the question that comes in is what are, what are the easiest and what are the most difficult speciality training programs to get into Australia? And to answer this question, I can explain you a few things. In fields where there is a high demand, and they're paid very well are generally the difficult ones to get into some of uh, the fields which are easier uh, or they have lesser demand are easiest to get into in australia general practice is considered as a speciality training so gp are highly in demand so if you want to do some gp sort of work then that'll be the easiest way to get into the system number one uh, number two is psychiatry Heaps of demand for psychiatry. Again, it's I think it's a six-year training program. You can get into that. Um, obviously, that requires general registration. For GP, you do not require general registration, so you can do AMC Part 1, and if you have some experience from your country working as a GP, ideally three years of experience, you can get into the, the training program directly. Uh, the next one, uh, the next easiest one is emergency medicine. Uh, 
So heaps of jobs and you can get into it. The problem with uh, emergency medicine is that it's a stressful job. And along with being a stressful job, it's a lot of shift work when you're starting to work. So that'll take you a lot of time to, you know, get acclimatized. But if that's your speciality, then that's something you want to think about getting into and working it out. So those, those would be the main things that I, I will recommend you. All right, so from my end, uh, I think that uh, should um, bring the video to an end. So if you like uh, the content I make, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, leave, leave a comment below and I'll endeavor to answer you. Thank you very much for your time. Ciao.